are back in the Namakanta area. Hello everyone! Out here I am Father Goat and we are back in the Namakanta area. Today we're going to be on the uh, Turtle Ridge Trails. It's kind of to the south of the lake where we were in the last video. Um, we just made it to the trailhead. We've got some pretty decent instructions. We've got a bridge down there that you don't want to cross in a truck. That's for sure. Good footbridge. Um, it's, I don't know what time it is, quarter of 9.30 or so. We've got two days, Saturday and Sunday, doing an overnight out there. The plan to start is five or six miles to the campsite. Um, depending on what time we get there and how we feel, uh, we've got plenty more trail we can do. We can actually go up, follow the trail north. Um, hitch up with the Appalachian Trail real quick and get back to the south end of Namakanta Lake as you saw before in the other video as well. Um, the terrain's pretty good. There's a couple of hills we're going to go up and there's supposed to be some pretty decent views when we get out there. So with that said, I'm going to gear up and make it happen. And we're off! As you can probably see, joining me on this trip, and not solo this time, Bunny Fu. Howdy, everybody! This is his first time out. He is tart tenting it tonight. Supposed to get down low 40s, maybe high 30s tonight. Kind of odd for this time of year, but we're going to make it happen. Yeah, I definitely don't want to drive on this. <laughs> We'd make it. Maybe. Very pretty stream though. We've also only walked about 100 feet now. So. Yeah, now I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Time for a break. Get some water, get some food. Now if that trail sign up there was accurate, our trailhead should be just up around the corner, which it looks like it is. Soaked the foot there. Careful coming around that tree. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the that spot. Cold water, huh? Yeah, that one. <laughs> of course, in the first 30 minutes on the trail, you gotta soak at least one foot, right?
Well, so far it's been a really pleasant trail. Probably about three quarter of a mile in, not too far. There was a small bit of elevation gain, but it was real mellow. Other than that, it's been a kind of a soggy path. We had some rain earlier in the week, but it's been really nice coming through here. I envision a lot of the a lot of the trail to be similar to this. We should have a junction coming up in about a quarter mile. I'll get the map out. We've got a decision to make on where we're kind of going to figure eight through the mountains here or through the hills. I don't know if they're mountains. Um, so we'll have to make a decision on that. But that'll be in about a quarter mile. And here we're watching his natural habitat, funny food taking pictures. Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> we made it to the first junction. And you can see the tree was nice enough to hold on to that sign for all us folks out here. Um, we are going to be going Turtle Ridge. I'll show you the map in just a minute. So we are going the Turtle Ridge Trail. That's going to be, I mean, it should be the roughest terrain over the two days. So we're going to do that on day one. Um, I know I failed miserably at this last time, but I'll try to do a little better this time. So, we are right here. We're going to head up on Turtle Ridge, come down to this junction, head up, check out these, camp there. Then on day two, we'll come down, and we'll come down on this other trail and hike back out. So it's kind of a figure eight as we go through, so we don't have to backtrack too much. Uh, which will be nice But so far we're making really good time. So we'll see where we get Got bunny food nursing some vodka in the hydration pack <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not doing that um, So yeah, we're gonna head down this way and climb the big hill today Jokes on you. that again we had to bushwhack off the trail just a touch not far at all but we have a much better view of Harding Pond and if you look right up here this is Turtle Ridge so we're going to take the trail, it veers off from the pond here, goes up in the woods. We're going to come up just in front of this ridge here, make it over, and the main trail connects back over there. this trail Onward and upward, I guess. yep moving on up to Turtle Ridge a great big rock in the sky
should have a nice clearing just up here. We came from down around that point, it kind of disappears. That's where we came in from, kind of followed the valley. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is Turtle Ridge. Phenomenal hike so far. It's been, there's been a lot of trying to find the trail. A lot of it's overgrown, it's not well packed down. Uh, a lot of the blazers are real old, so they've turned gray. But it was actually really fun trying to find our way through. Um, elevation wasn't too bad. It's It's been really nice. And aside from the bugs, the day has been perfect. It's time to get this pack off and get some lunch. Smoke Jetter. This is fantastic. Hang on, let's see what I can do here. Cheese, does that need to be refrigerated? Hell yeah. Back to the trail. Okay, I lied, we're right back here at the view. <laughs> Someone followed me too. We should be coming up to our junction just after Hedgehog Pond here. That's where we'll hitch a straight line out and start scouting some campsites for the night.
Testing, testing, testing. Does my GoPro work after going swimming? I think so. Still a little foggy. I'll fix that tonight. I'm sorry about that. So, we are at the Turtle Ridge East Trailhead. We came in from the west. We've got a short, short road hike. Um, and we'll find a connector trail that is the Tumble Down Dick Falls Trail. I said that with a straight face. I could act for a living. <laughs> so we're gonna go up the road a little bit. See, now I'm laughing. It's because of Bunny Foo. Um, gonna go up the road a little bit. Um, we are going to, there's two campsites up there. Um, I think the furthest one should be within a mile and a half of where we're at. So we're gonna go and check out both of them because it's still pretty early. What time is it, Foo? It is 3.13. 3.13. So even if we put on a couple more miles at a really slow pace, we can get it done and uh, by five o'clock or so. Get camp set up, get some food cooking, and we'll be, we'll be good to go. So I won't bore you with the road hike. Uh, we'll probably meet up again when we get to camp and I dry out this camera a little bit more. So here's camp, right? So we came in on this trail here. There's a bunch of old, mostly rotten wood we can burn, but it does have a fire pit, which is really nice because um, the bugs are pretty brutal. So it's gonna be nice to get out of that. Um, there's a chair we've got and the pond is down here we kind of checked it out earlier it's not i don't want to drink out of it uh we uh, just a, a couple minutes up the trail there's another there's a spot there for uh to get water with some some really good running water i know you can't see much right now um I didn't have this on video either because the GoPro was having issues. But this cliff over here, that's where we're going to be going tomorrow. This this rock cliff up here. I hope I'm pointing the right way. But when we did the, the short road hike, it was actually right under that. So the road kind of follows under this ridge, the Joe Mary Road. First things first, I'm really excited to try this out. This is uh, Superfly from War Bonnet Outdoors which I think is going to be super fly. All right, tarp is hung. Use the old hammock first. We need some hammock suspension. Also from our friend Dutch at DutchWearGear.com. We've got some whoopee slings. Different colors on the two ends, of course. I have the gray on my right hand side. I know that's the way my hammock opens. It only opens on one side. So we just thread this guy through here. Another little titanium Dutch hook on the end. This was, from the best I could tell, the lightest suspension he had on his site. But it's also very adjustable. And we throw one hook on here. Another here.
and that ought to do it. Make sure it's gonna hold me. And it, it very much is. I'd like to be a little higher off the ground though. Just enough room under there. And I hope it does the job tonight. This is the Nature Hike sleeping bag off of Amazon. Like 30 bucks. Show it to you a little better once you get it attached here. Coming right up over here. Like you'd expect an under quilt to do. And there we go. Give it a while to loft up, but it's uh, just enough. Like I said, I used it the last trip up in Namakanta, up into, or down into the low 40s. Works well. Just ran this piece of shock cord straight through this channel and hung it up. Ran another one around this side, the short side of the sleeping bag and tied those off with some more shock cord. I've uh, not had any problems yet. But this is, this is camp for the night. And now I'm gonna eat. Plastic spork, can't do without. Today we are cooking on Supercat. All right, I need two and a quarter cup. So one ounce of alcohol for two cups, plus I really don't want to mess around. There you go. We have got over here, which should be ready shortly, Pasta Roma. Pasta with Romano and Parmesan cheese in a creamy tomato sauce. You can see here, I wish you could smell it. It just smells fantastic. Oh, <laughs> this is a winner. This is really good. About sunset, Bunny Fu has provided us with a fantastic fire. So, we are just gonna warm up for a little bit and then we're gonna crash. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's about five o'clock. Um, getting up. Bunny food's not up yet, so I don't want to make too much noise. So at 5 o'clock here, so that's pretty accurate to the outside temperature right now. Here is the uh, hammock with all the tie-outs. I like the truck and pull here just to give it a little extra room. Um, in retrospect, as you can see, I hung the tarp pretty high. I mean, we weren't expecting any weather. Um, but I think if you check it out here, I mean, this is the ridge line for the tarp. 
And here's the hammock. You can see how much how much room there is between the hammock ridge line and the tarp ridge line. So I could have brought it down really easily, another six or eight inches. And I think that would have kept a little bit of airflow away from the bottom. Had plenty of loons, plenty of frogs, and if I'd shut up, you could probably hear the birds now. On tap for breakfast. Some fantastic oats. A little bit of protein powder, a little bit of powdered milk. I think I might even put some powdered butter in there. Some instant coffee. Put a lot more coffee than is necessary in there. But it's actually really good. And considering it's a little chilly this morning, mmm, it's hitting a spot. Here's Levitt Pond, found a slightly better place to uh, get a view of it. So we changed water filtration a little bit since last time, partially because I think beaver fever. But uh, so here's the new system. Went from 32 to 64 ounce bags. I felt like last time all I was doing constantly was filtering water. Like every time I came to any kind of stream, I just had to dive on and get water. Could have been because I ended up sick or just because I had a really poor capacity. But 64 ounce bag, took a hole punch and just poked some holes up here. This is a little uh, whoopee sling made out of zingit. Um, I made this myself. It's, it's really easy to work with Zingit and make all the uh, end loops and some little whoopee slings. Um, but I made this adjustable so I can make it longer like this. So when we're on a tree, it can the water bag can reach the ground and it's not the weight is not supported by the system. Um, but I can also shorten it right up, pull the whoopee out, and make it short so that I can hang it. I can like set my trekking pole against a tree hang it on the edge of my trekking pole and it'll still be enough to get it to to get it to drain it's a little bit slower than squeezing I've had it up here for I don't know a minute or so so it's uh it's not quite as fast as squeezing but it's 100% less annoying and less of a chore if that makes sense um, and also Whenever I hook this system up, I'll take the clean water bag, I'll hook the hose and the filter on before I even unscrew the dirty water bag. So at that point, the only way for water to get into my clean water bag is through the tube. And since the tube's already connected to the filter, the only way for water to get into my clean water bag is through the filter. Wanted to take the extra precaution as of course the sickness happened last time. Um, it takes about four and a half minutes to filter a liter this way, which I know I could get it to go faster by standing here and squeezing it. Um, but unless you're in a rush, I mean, you can still come over and squeeze the thing and get it to go really fast. But if you have water, you just drink your water while this is filtering, uh, and then you replace what you drank. So it's really handy, especially at camp. But even when you get to um, water sources and you need to get some water, I mean, it's set this up 10 minutes for two liters, a uh, good chance to take the shoes off, grab a snack, relax, whatever. We've had a very leisurely morning of coffee drinking, Pop-Tart eating, and really that's about it. But we have broken camp. Aside from a few charred logs in the fire, we have got everything out of here. Kind of sad to leave this place. This was this was a really nice sight. 
but we are watered up. We are deeted up. Um, and we're about ready to go. So we're going to hit the trail. We're going to kind of play it by ear. I don't know where we're going today. Um, we're here at the Levitt Pond campsite. And we need to go here to the West Trailhead. And we're going to hike back up here to this junction. Um, we're going to see if we want to head out this way, which would be... This is right, the rock we see right across from us here. Um, or if we just want to take it easy and go straight back. So we're going to see how feet feel, see how much energy we have. Uh, we're going to make it happen. <laughs> I thought my parents should have had a problem. The fertile and Sam got to go to Mountain Dew when they were young. Totally unfair. I know it. How come they get to travel all the way to Mount Doom? We can't travel 100 miles into the wilderness. They get Mount Doom and we don't even get tumbled down Dick Pond. The heck's up with that? I want my tumble down Dick. Pond. Pond. It's dirty if you don't say pond. Pond. <laughs> so this was most of the trail yesterday when we did walk down to tumble down dick pond i mean there are blazes but it's not it's not a well-traveled trail which i like we've actually feels more like an adventure we're finding our way so here was the junction oh so, tumble down dick falls the side trail is two and a half miles up here. This, going that way, isn't the side trail. The side trail's up that way. Great success, I was wrong. He totally made it through without wet feet. Well done. I bet I bet the internets that you were gonna have wet feet walking through there. And you made them a winner, good sir. Well done. I have wet feet though. Oh. <laughs> First puddle back at the beginning, I slipped into it. <laughs> so I was half right, I guess? All right. We're gonna keep trekking through this terrain here. It's a really nice walk. Back in the woods here, it's cooled down some. It's not quite as hot as it was. Uh, obviously out on the, uh, the open rock there up on the ridge. So we're gonna keep trekking through here. And I reckon we will meet up with y'all back at, uh... holy smokes. Uh, back at Rabbit Pond. In short order, indeed, we have made it to Rabbit Pond. I think I managed to take some really foggy video here. I also took some with my phone. I was really hoping I didn't have to intersplice the video. Um, but the guys that we met yesterday that were camping at uh, Tumble Down Dick Pond, they were out here in their canoe yesterday, said the fishing was great. Uh, you know, we heard them yelping from back here. They were way back near the other shore. Um, and they were definitely making some noise. They told us about it and said it was great fishing. So it's plenty nice. The trail is back up here. We've got 
a little over a half mile to get to our junction. But this, we need to cross. You see that little stone right there? We threw that down yesterday thinking it would make a nice step. It didn't. Um, as you can see, the water's going right over it there. So we ended up with some pretty wet feet. I hereby christen thee the Father Goat Memorial Causeway. I don't know why I'm memorial yet. I'm still here. Someday it will be known. All ye hikers that pass here shall have dry feet. We are about to embark on the maiden crossing of the Father Goat Memorial Causeway at Rabbit Pond. Near McCanter Reserve, Maine. <laughs> it's a beaut, bub. You can do it. Started to do it until she rocked over and I went foot first down into that puddle. You didn't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it right. <laughs> it's plain. Oh, I missed it. Go back and do it again. <laughs> what the hell with you, Andrew Memorial Bridge? Causeway. Causeway, my friend. You dare hawk at my causeway? Yep. That's how I feel about your causeway. I'm cool, man. And over here, you can see Father Goat Memorial Causeway, erected in 2015 by Father Goat himself. You may pass it, no charge. Turtle Ridge yesterday. If you can see this rock coming out right there, that was the first little peak we came to. This was the second. We've got some, some pictures and video out there. But over here is where we had lunch on this one. Um, so we were looking back this way. But this is really nice. We've got a loon right out here. I'll try to zoom in for you. You can see that, he's just chilling, he hasn't been making any noise. 
Um, so we're not far today. We're about a mile and a half from the vehicle. Um, we're just going to muscle it out. It's only, it's just before noon now, so we'll be out by by one or so and probably in a place where we can eat by about 1.30. We are heading back to the main trail so we can head to the truck so we can head to a top of a windy hill without bugs to make lunch. Yesterday, of course, we headed out that way. We're down that way, around that way. Uh, we want to go to the West Trailhead today. And here's one of my favorite trees because it's eating a sign and I like that. I still don't believe Sing Sing Pond is this way. I'm going to have to look that up on another map. But on my map, it's on the other side of the trailhead that way. I think I mentioned this before. I apologize for going on about the mysteriously teleporting pond. Uh, all right, with that said, we're gonna get it done. All right, everyone. I think we're back at the beginning. This bridge material looks like it's the beginning. It was a good trip. Let's see what we clocked in on on the GPS. Ah, trip info. Today we did 4.7. Yesterday we did 10.8. Thanks, what, 15 and a half miles? Yep. It's not bad. It's uh, actually more than I was planning on doing. I thought we'd do closer to like 12. And actually, we would have if we didn't run out to tumble down Dick Falls camping back. But that's all right. Awesome hike. If anyone has the opportunity to come out here, the south side where we are, the Turtle Ridge Trails we just hit up, much mellower um, than the AT and the Debskin Egg Backcountry Trails up by Namakanta. Same, same region, but these were just beautiful. The trails were nice. Uh, we even got to bushwhack and kind of find our way some but no real crazy elevation gains or losses uh, some pretty stunning views um, so yeah if you can find the time money and energy I highly recommend coming out but we are coming back to our bridge and with any luck right around the corner we'll find my truck so as always I cannot thank you guys enough for coming along with us. I cannot thank Bunny Foo enough for coming along with us. Enjoyed it. And he really bailed me out in a couple situations. But, again, thank you very much. Out here on Father Goat, and we'll see you next time. Another little trail that goes right to the water. If you water didn't look too clean, <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd drink out of it if if I had to, but it's I'm definitely not a pref yeah, it's not a preferred water source at all. I don't want bleedy butt. That's gonna be real nice on YouTube. The kids will enjoy bleedy butt. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real medical condition, kids. Please don't Google it. We can don't, edit that out. Don't Google it.